there, sign of Libra. Libra, I just did Aquarius, and you were all over that reading. Uh, your energy was, at least. Um, let's get started, guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Um, I appreciate the support that I get for this channel. Just sending my gratitude out there. All right, we're going to start by calling in the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading, surround you as you watch this reading, calling in our angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power to help us out. I'm going to start with the spell casting deck. See what it has to say to you, Libra, for the 4th and the 5th, 2021. We have trust. And willpower. A little bit of the Nine of Wands energy. Wanting you to have perseverance and willpower. And wanting you to trust a situation. In, some, in something maybe that you're feeling like you're doubting it. Maybe you're feeling that something's not going to work out. And maybe they're mixed, there might be mixed emotions of every now and then thinking something's going to work out and it's fine. And then the next second having this uh, lack of trust. So you need to trust, trust in your spirit team, trust in yourself and have willpower and perseverance to get through whatever this challenge is that you have at the moment. Okay, Libra, let's get an archetype card from Kim Krenz. Trust and willpower, definitely. Trust that whatever this is, it will, it will work out. Nice. Lots of white light coming out through those pictures, too. Really nice. All right. Oh, the crone. Okay, well, that's neat. Because the crone is indicating either an older woman, okay, this is really strange that it that it says that. It says either an older woman or it really means like a witch or um, somebody with really strong psychic abilities. Maybe spiritual gifts that are passed down from generations and from your Akashic records. That maybe something you unknowingly have been working on for many lifetimes. And the crow is just representing that. And it also, I can't help but notice that it's holding the pinnacle. So... Maybe it's something that you're going to manifest, and through your abilities, it might come in a little bit quicker than other people. So that's that's really cool. That's a really good message, the crone. All right, let's get, let's see, what else are we going to get? We're going to get a wisdom from the oracle card for you. And we'll see what that has to say to Libra for the 4th and 5th of January. All right, Libra, 4th and 5th of January. I think you need to trust in your abilities, too. I think that's also a message in here. What do we have for Libra? Oh, there's a change in the wind. A change in the wind. Trust that this change is okay. Trust that this change is good. Everything will work out for the good. Co-create, yeah. You know, I was just thinking, um, I was thinking of saying that when you trust and in that what you're doing, what your spiritual gifts are doing is going to help you out, then, you know, co-creating with your spirit team or the divine, it will always lead you to good results. Your spiritual sides, they don't ever let you down. So if you're doing something that's for the greater good, you can bet it will manifest something really great for you. And it multiplies. It just multiplies. Your treasures multiply whenever you're doing something for the greater good. For a good cause. There's co-create. All right. So we have that. Let's do your tarot spread now. Let's see. And then we'll do some tea leaves after that. A change in the wind is just exactly what it means. It means that some sometimes things might get shaky first before they get stable. And it's just because it, this thing is moving, okay? It's moving to a different direction. And it's moving because the zebra represents creating balance. Needing to find balance in a situation. So there's something that's changing and it's changing so that things are balanced and fair. Which, um, you know... Libras would know a lot about. So, what is the issue? 
What is the issue? We have the three, three of cups, indecision being the two of swords. All right, so this is about either about the memories of getting together with friends in the past or celebrating, going out drinking with friends um, or just ha hanging out and having fun. And it looks like there's a block or, or like a situation where you don't know something about this celebration, whether you're going to do it or not. Um, that's kind of what I get from this. Um, but I do have celebration and good times. I just have a feeling that there's a decision that needs to be made first. Let's see. What is the past position? Past position. Knight of Cups. In came an offer of love. Something that was going to be... Um, very emotionally fulfilling for you. The Knight of Cups can be ushering in a new job offer. It can be ushering in a new partner, a relationship, a new business um, opportunity. You know, it's just, um, it's something good. And it might be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces from your past. So this is very, this person, if it's a person, they're very charming, witty, Smart, intelligent, working from the heart. So everything is going to be very diplomatic and warm and caring. What is the future spot? Whoa. Strength. Have that strength. Have that. That's that card of Leo trying to tell you to have strength. Have strength in this situation. It will turn out. Have strength to get through this change in the wind. Have strength to have the willpower. Have the strength to ask and trust your spirit team to help you co-create and manifest whatever it is. Um, don't lose sight of the goal, but don't be really stuck on your way or the highway of how you're going to get there. Because once you leave it up to spirit, it, you may end up being led to your goal through a different means that you just never thought was going to happen. All right. Oh, look. Okay, we're going to take it like that. That's good. That's really good. There, if there was a situation where there was um, financial problems or feeling like you were left out, it's going to be switched. It's going to be flipped upside down. It's going to change because there's the world coming in to usher this new wonderful cycle that you're going to go through. It's almost like going to 5D. It's really um, inspirational and, and more people are successful in that dimension. More people's manifestations come true and more people are essentially doing what's for the greater good. All right, so let's see. Um, let's get you, let's do the tea leaves. We'll do tea leaves, Libra. Let's see what they have to say, and then we'll wrap this reading up. Woo, thanks for spending time with me, Libra. We have fan, romance, celebration, or party right here. The three of Cups. That's kind of crazy. It's like right there. Um, we have tankard. There really is going to be a celebration. Tankard, be careful with the drinking because it's just very indicated a lot <laughs> here for you. Uh, rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters, but you know what? I see rabbit and I always think of fertility too. So if that's something you're wanting to avoid, you can avoid it, but I think it represents some kind of fertility. Uh, ability to birth new things and work and achievement and success so with hard work with trust and perseverance and willpower you will get through this and you'll end up creating what you want which is a new cycle in how you're feeling about money matters and how you're feeling about being included it's all going to change for you so it looks good libra looking looking good looking forward to change Thanks for uh, watching with me once again and sending light and love out to you. Bye-bye.